Okay, hey, what is up? I am gonna make my haul video. <laughs> I'm gonna make my haul video right now because <laughs> because I need to put this stuff away and I feel like if I like wait then it'll like I'll never film it. So um I try to organize this oh I try to organize my um haul into categories but Honestly, it's just like a box of things. Um, so it's going to be really random. And I'm not going to include stickers because I put some of my stickers away already. But like, I got a lot of like stickers like this guy. Which I'll probably, you'll, like the stuff that you won't see in the video will probably eventually be shown in a video. So um, that being said. Let me show two things that just, like, well, one of them I didn't buy in this haul, but, like, I just saved the wrapper because you need to see it. So I bought this really cute Purin, like, um, ruler. It's Purin. You see this, right? It's like Sanrio Pom Pom Pudin. But like the actual package ha has Pikachu and it says Pokemon. And it's like hella made in China. Did I show this? I feel like I showed this before. But like, why? Like, but like, you know, it's actually really nice. Like, look at that kind of love it but yeah I again all the stuff I'm showing because I need to put it away or whatever so yeah moving on um yeah and stuff is not together so the categories idea are, is out of the window so um I got this little Oswald the Rabbit pen at Disney and yeah it's cute the other Oswald stuff was really expensive. <laughs> like, I kind of wanted the ears, but, like, it it was a lot of money. So, I didn't get them. And, like, yeah. Um, And then, next is mac and cheese. I bought this mac and cheese. Um, because it's easy to cook. And... You know, last time I shared my mac and cheese, but this time I don't think I'm about to. So, yeah. Okay, next I bought some more tea replacements. Um, one of these will go to work and then one will stay at my house. So, the one that I have at work has enough for maybe one or two cups. Like, there's like a very little bit left in the bottom so I, I had to move why am I like so unhinged <laughs> um I had to move my whole desk today um because there's a new teacher coming and she seems infamously bad because everybody seems to hate her but they won't say why and I'm like just just be mean this is a safe space but anyway um that might be a story for later when she arrives because i think i meet her on thursday not even sure but anyway um next i have these sheet masks that have i think there's five no there's seven there's seven which i love when they're in like a pouch or there's like um, the little tissue box looking ones because I think I don't use them because I don't want to open like the individual pouch and then put it on and then throw that thing away. But like there's usually a lot of juice left. So I'm like, well, I should like keep the juice for tomorrow. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I like it when it's like this and this one is extra moisturizing which I need, but like my skin is happy to be back in the moisture of Korea, I guess. And it's, it's raining 
a lot. Like it's supposed to rain like heavily tonight and tomorrow. So I mean, I'm not looking forward to that, but at least, um, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, next I have this really cute Franklin mug from Knott's and it has like Franklin's little story that I'm not going to read, but look how cute this is. Like it's kind of a dumb looking mug because like for me, this is like not a lot of drink, but it'd be a good like hot coffee or yeah. But I got Franklin and it's yellow. Like it's my mug. It was waiting for me, but yeah. Um, Franklin mug. And then ah, there's so much stuff. Like I like went crazy. Okay. Um, next I have my Mexican mangoes. Like. I'll get, I guess I have to save these until like I have a small event because I feel like these are special. Like I can't get them, but my friend from the Philippines gave me dried mangoes. So like they don't have like chili and lime on them, but they are dried mangoes. So I, I don't have to like deprive myself of having mangoes um the next one is like a big guy um i got the matcha meditation of replica um not like i needed more fragrance but like this one's so good so i'm excited to use it um put that away. and then let's see oh i have my king's hat from the king's game which like looks pretty dope to be honest so it's just like i will probably wear this hat when it's like not cold and wet anymore um along with my rabbit hat so okay there there is no there are no transitions there are no like order so I hope you have a snack or something because I'm just like picking things up like this you know what this makes me makes me think of those like videos where like or live streams where people are like selling stuff and they're like look at it you want it three dollars and like the lady throws it you know <laughs> but anyway um since I showed this this was on clearance at Target from the tags i remember these used to be orange like back in the day but anyway um this was 4.99 at target it's essence welcome to london eyeshadow palette which like i have that uh vegas one of this collection which was also pretty cheap um and you know i really like this it's it it, it seems pretty easy to use so i like that and then I have my neutral palette that I've been like dreaming of getting this coffee shop by Juvia's. Oh, I don't need to keep that little plastic thing because I never, yeah, but yeah, it, I will like try to experiment with this, like probably not this weekend because I have to go to Dijon and teach orientation so I probably won't try anything new I'll just bring like a small palette with me and then this palette was an unexpected surprise at Ross <laughs> like I saw this palette and I was like it's kind of big and ridiculous and then I opened it and like it looked even more ridiculous but it was only $9.99 and then I tried it and like besides this row like it's not ridiculous so yeah I kind of love it I don't the thing I don't love is that it's like this big like this is kind of like this is probably my biggest palette because it's real big but you know that's fine okay 
now oh my prized possession if anything happened to him like in transit i was gonna sue somebody but it's batty look how cute he is he's a little bat and his wings are like posable like he's got like little joints in there like batty <laughs> He's so cute. Why so cute? Um, but anyway, he's a really cute little bat. And like, I know everybody's like, oh, bats gave us corona. And it's like, you don't even know if bats gave us corona. You know, I've only ever seen a bat that wasn't in the zoo IRL one time. And I didn't realize they were bats. Because I was walking across campus and then I heard like wing sounds at night and I thought like oh those are just like a flock of birds but like why would a flock of birds be flying in like the middle of the night time <laughs> and they were bats and I slept it but yeah they were bats um anyway moving on to t-shirts I guess um because that's the next biggest pile. I got this. Oh, so some of the two of the t-shirts I didn't um, buy on my trip, but I bought and it got delivered. And they're like band t-shirts. So the first one is like a sleeping, sleeping giants band tee, and like this is the back. And then I don't know. Just and not a band he I told you it's not in order um this like Eevee look how cute Eevee is so cute yeah Eevee I think Eevee's my favorite or Eevee or um Snorlax cause he sleeps all the time and then, oh, now we're into like weeb t-shirt territory. So, I mean, to match my backpack, you gotta have the Inuyasha t-shirt. But like, they had no Shishomaru t-shirt, which is a little bit sad because that would have been my second one. But they did have, where? is it i think this is it i think this is it yeah tomie um which is kind of creepy so i don't even like know when i'm gonna wear this because it's kind of creepy like this is a weekend t-shirt but you know it's good i like it and then this like vintage looking not vintage what is it like retro retro looking mickey on vacation t-shirt that like i feel like my dad has like a similar one it just like felt nostalgic and you know love it won't be able to wear these all for a long time because it's still pretty cold and then my favorite band as of right now um their band t which like has their name in like various languages pretty cool all right oh no okay whatever um oh I think I, this is a t-shirt another t-shirt oh this has got to be the my chemical romance t-shirt it is um I feel like I remember this being less vibrant red when I was in school but you know maybe they were just like washed out from like the washer you know but nostalgia bait needed it okay there's so much there's so much stuff and oh, anyway let me just shut up okay so the next thing um is my like little bag that I will use on um Friday since I have to stay overnight and um 
it's Lucifer the cat that the mouse, the mice called Rusify because I guess they couldn't like pronounce Lucifer or something, but look at it. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, but yeah, I'm going to use that. So see, it's a useful item. It's not just a little stupid toy. You know, it does something. So I justify it. Okay. Um, I got this sketchbook F5 Below. It's just a regular sketchbook that's bound. But, like, because, because it was cheap, um, I don't really care if, like, it, like, I don't feel intimidated to use it like it getting messed up like me drawing stupid sketches in it like I feel like my big orange notebook that I the sketchbook that I have well like now it's kind of like dedicated to one project but problem number one it's really big so it's not portable problem number two is that like at first I was intimidated now I'm less intimidated but I've discovered that you can draw on both sides of that paper because it's really thick like it doesn't look thick but like if you write on it with like marker I don't know about sharpie but like if you draw on it with markers it like doesn't bleed through so I'm trying to use like all the sides of the paper which like I probably should not I mean I should do that right but I should probably not do that if I'm trying to like use my sketchbooks up because I'm I have a lot of them but like yeah this one I will like I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it like if I want to dedicate it to like a new project or just like it be random stuff because I don't think it's like a good size to be random stuff because it's a little bit too big but I'll decide that later um I guess I'll do like the book stuff next oh we got more oh okay okay Okay, so I got this little mini coloring book and a little bit mad because it says that it's made in Korea and it's like not even expensive, but I have never seen this in my life here. Like all of the coloring books here are like really like the huge tacky ones where there's like, they're obviously for like five year olds and like you'll have like the picture colored in and then the picture blank so you can copy it which I think is like not good for kids um creativity because my kids will ask me to show them what color the stuff is and I'm like you can color it how you want and they're like no I can't and I'm like okay um then this little notebook which I kind of got dirty already um but it's like that kind of like fabric fake leather that I always get dirty <laughs> ouch book just fell on me um but yeah it's kind of like that so there was a scandal in in China recently because they changed all their um Japanese cafes and Japanese like stores and brands to Chinese again because of the like the water release or whatever and like people had a bad association in Japan but like it was like trendy to like write Japanese on stuff even if it wasn't like correct like via Ariana Grande type stuff happening with them but this is like a Chinese brand like it's called like Shu Lan but then like there's Japanese on it <laughs> for why I don't know but um it's just a cute notebook that has like uh like decorated pages sorry I can't like show it because I'm stupid but like yeah it's really cute like she's got her little snacks and her little rice ball very cute okay moving on I have I am a cat. Manga edition. Um, I have this book. I have this book in English. 
but not here. And I have it in Korean, which I doubt I will ever read because this is a really hard book. But it was at, um, it was at Aladdin for like 2001, I guess, because it's like really famous. But yeah, this, this book is like really hard and I like read it and had to like use spark notes to understand it. So I kind of doubt I will like read the Korean one ever. Let's be real. Like this book and that that Chinese Uxia book, I probably will never read. They just like exist in my collection. But like this one was real cheap, so I don't no regrets, but yeah, I think I'm like I won't read that. But um there's this which is cute because I think they wrote it so like kids can understand it. It has like a lot of footnotes in it, so that's kind of nice. Maybe that will inspire me to like reread this book in English at some point, but not right now. Like, not right now. And then I bought Mere Christianity in English, which I am not sure if I have it in my house somewhere. Um, It's not in the bookcase, but that's not the only place I have books. So, um... I don't know it's a classic if I don't if I do have it like I'll just give it to somebody who wants to learn English or knows English I don't know you know English books cost a lot here if you just like specifically want a book in English they're like really expensive like I think like when you get them even at Aladdin they're like pretty expensive compared to the others and they can be like really beat up and they'll still be like more than 10 bucks but then I don't know that's why I usually don't buy any English books in Korea sorry I'm like getting sidetracked but then I saw this really adorable book in Target and like Look how cute the illustrations are. Like, it's the cutest little book. Like, why is it so cute? It's way too cute. Um, so I had to have it. And we got it on Amazon for cheaper than the um, ones at Target because it's like $20 like a kid book and you know that's another type of book that's really expensive and I get it like all the pages are in color they're like you know hardbacks like I understand why they cost money but that's why you go to the library I guess but like what if you want it you want to keep it and then you have to spend the money okay this I got at Disney and like, you know, I wanted, at first, I wanted the little shoulder writing thing, character. And I was like, well, I could like wear it on Halloween at school. But then there was this keychain of Remy. Like, look at his little chef hat. His little, he, he really looks like a rat. I mean, he is a rat. But you know, like, he looks so much like a rat that like, my dad would hate him. You know what I mean? Like, he is, like, a little rat. I love it so much. Um, there's a lady that has rats, and she's, like, she keeps posting about, like, anybody want to adopt a rat? And I'm, like, I kind of do. But I, like, obviously, like, can't do that right now. Like, you know, after emptying my suitcase, this all just got worse. It's, like, you don't want to see that side at all. Um, I have a bath bomb. So I have this bath bomb. I have the bath bomb that I bought at uh, Olive Young. And then I have these bath salts now that like I 
don't remember what they were, like their descriptions, but they'll be a surprise. But now I have to take a bath like six times to use all my bath stuff, but that's okay because that'll give me a reason to like go somewhere that has a bathtub and like I love baths. If I had a bathtub, I would probably take a bath like all, not all the time because I don't like cleaning the bathtub, but it like pretty frequently I would take a bath if I had a bathtub. Um, okay. We're getting down to like little toys and stuff. So, um, okay, I have like some stickers I didn't put away yet, but trust and believe there's more stickers than that. Um, miscellaneous, some aspirin. Cause you know, they look at you weird in the pharmacy if you ask for aspirin, like they seem reluctant to give it to you, even though they have it and it's only like a dollar. They like are really weird about it, but you know, I'm a classic aspirin person, so my aspirin and then I have some foundations this one was on clearance I don't know if it's good or not but we'll see um, I should probably use that one first since it was on clearance and then um, the super stay like drop one and I had a drop um, foundation like this like from it was either mac or makeup forever or something and it, it was kind of expensive not kind of it was really expensive but like it's a really nice like light texture and you like you don't feel it all day and then i repurchased this one just solid and it's like only like five bucks or something so yeah repurchase and then I guess we continue with cosmetic um rose bath and body works body mist uh bath and body mark body marks body mist bath and body work <laughs> bath and body work i am tired <laughs> bath and body works um their stock was kind of weak sauce but they're like coming into spring summer and i don't even think i like spring summer fragrances as much as I like fall winter ones so that could be it but they kind of didn't have that much going on right now and then some of the stuff that they had smelled good but it was like kind of too strong like I don't need to smell that strongly okay the box is getting emptier uh, okay I'm just gonna start I can't put the stuff back in. That will confuse me. Okay. I got a little Linus from um, Knott's 2. And he's a keychain. I unfortunately don't have any keys. But I can hang him on my bag. So not useful but a thing that will be kind of used. And he's not like rubberized like this one. Because the rubberized ones get... um dirty so fast like you should see my um a peach he is nasty right now but i i won him in a crane machine um i also won my card captor toy in a crane machine but i don't know where she is right now i didn't put her in this box but um i got my favorite og eyeliner not special just wet and wild um i bought these which are slept on um they are pencil holders uh you unscrew the cap and then you put your pencil in here and like even if your pencil's like this long it like is at least this long now it like it's great like i don't know why this because i have one that I bought in like a stationery shop in like 
Gangnam, I think. The one that's in the bus terminal, or it used to be. And it was also from Japan, but, like, I cannot find these. After, like, after I broke it, I couldn't find these anywhere. I went to, like, art stationary stores. Like, the ones where there's, like, actual artist stuff. And they didn't have them either. And, like, they're not expensive. They're, they're just slept on. But, like, one of my favorite things, because I do like um wooden pencils. And I feel like, you know... They're underappreciated. Well, not by everyone, because there's like huge wooden pencil fans. Um, um, these are from Lucky Boxes or like Gotcha Puns, but like we have my Melody, and she's like a little witch. I forgot what um like the name of this box, this blind box was, but yeah, it's her. As Little Witch from Miniso. Um, these were from the little capsules, but like. Hold on. Oh, this one wasn't, but it was another blind box. But also, key ring. I don't know why this cat is wearing a backpack, but is a sushi. Because all the other ones had like food on them, but you know, quirky. Um, hold on, I lost the base. Anyway, this was the one time that I would have taken literally any character to come out and be happy. Okay, I can't get it on the thing, but I would have taken literally any character and been happy out of this one for obvious reasons. You can't get her to sit on the stand. And then there's more, I think. Yeah. There's this guy that's stackable, but he's just like a chubby cat. Like, look at his face. <laughs> Focus. Anyway, look how cute he is. And he stacks, but I only have one. But if I see him, I'll get more. Because I have so many, like, little cat fish. Oh, no. Yeah, see, that's how many cat figures I have that they're just, like, falling off of this. But, like, I got this, like, lazy guy. And I think I got two lazy. Yep, I got two lazy guys. He's sitting the other way. Um, this, These would look really cute on, like, a glass table because, like, that. But, you know, don't have a glass table. And then this guy. Oh, man. More cats. This guy. Which, like, he can be a friend with this guy that, like, if you buy more of them, they, like, are doing a little, like, standing in line. Um, and then this little shrimp was from Lucky Box, but this one I got out of the crane machine. I didn't win any, like, other crane machines in that tag one but cute not a curing but cute um your key ring that i need to take this ugly plastic thing off of it because i really hate this kind of key ring but oh no but yours cute i think it's fine i think whatever fell is fine it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. And then, yeah, Hello Kitty. This this one is, like, going directly on my bag. It's so cute. I don't know about the other keychains yet, but... Oh, yeah. Cinema roll. Sweating at the sauna. And this, like, still still waiting cat. But I have to assemble his box, so. Oh, here it is. My angry, angry Donald pen. Like, it's good. It's real good. Um, I need to wash my jacket, though. Put it on there. Um, nail polish. 
more nail polish. And then I have some nail art stickers, but they're not in here. So I'll show them later. Um, and then these are all my lip products. I feel like this time I got a lot of like lip products. Um, this is just like a little single shadow that I second hand. Um, and we went to Nature Republic, which was a throwback because they're hard to find here. But there's so much stuff at Nature Republic that I want. So I'll have to go there eventually, but not now. Um, another one that I inherited is this um, inherited like <laughs> fucking estate sale or something. I mean, I hand me down whatever decluttered into my collection. Um, this Elf hydrating core shine. Oh, that's French. Hydrating core lip shine. Um, it's kind of like the. Um, Clinique Black Honey. And then I repurchased this lip gloss that I always wear. I am who I am. This lip gloss is the best. Um, this is what I wanted the this to be. But it's not. Um, it's like really clear. Like this one doesn't really show up as like this color. It just looks like clear lip gloss with like glitters in it. But I thought it would be this one with glitters in it but it's not so i mean i like it but it could be better um this uh sephora lip stain <laughs> i need to go to bed <laughs> okay you get this lip stain <laughs> um there's another lip stain in my purse but I don't have it out right now. But I clearly have a type. Because like. Yeah. And then. Um, another one that I. Inherited. Declared in my collection. Which I'm like ha excited to try. Because this is like. That grayish one that I had. From MAC that they discontinued. And like. I don't know I love this kind of color. It was real popular and then it just was gone. Um, this L'Oreal Paris. What are you? It looks really nice. Like this looks and feels like really expensive. This is the Plum Dominant. It's just your classic. Looks nice red. Like burgundy guy. Which like. You know, I did learn you can go wrong. Like, when this one's, like, violet looking, it looks bad on me. But anyway. Um, makeup Creations. It's complicated lip gloss, which I think is kind of a, um, it's kind of a spice dupe. Like, MAC Spice. So, that's, like, lip gloss number two that I, like, repurchased. But, like, by technicality. Because I have to do um, and then this Sephora Lip Stories, which I feel like they might be discontinuing because they were like all on sale. Um, but I'm not going to open this. I'll try it later. But it is, but first coffee. And it's just like a brown one, which I probably have one that's similar to this, but that's okay. This was like only $5, I think. And then... This lip gloss was a surprise because I thought it would look really bad, but it looked really good. Um, Hello Darling from Lip Creations. And then I'll do my, you know, there's another lip gloss that's like spicy plumping lip gloss, but it's in my purse and I can't, like, I, I literally cannot right now. Um, but it's like the color of my nails kind of and it's just a lip gloss it's like a clear lip gloss but I like it because it's not that like capsaicin spicy burn your lips plumper it's just like minty so um and then this lipstick that was sold out at the other beauty creation and then 
they had it. But like, look at this. Color is so good. It had a little heart and I think I just ruined it, but I didn't ruin it. It's still there, kind of. It won't focus. Okay, whatever. Um, it's called, oh, it's magnetic too. Like, it's nice. Uh, it's called My Weakness. And it has a perfect little box that I refuse to throw away. So, and then the last lipstick and last thing I have to show you because I, the other thing I have is my little Twin Stars tumbler, but it, I'm washing it right now because um, in transit, I dropped it and the straw fell out and I have to, I had to like deep clean the straw. <laughs> So, yeah, and I, and I kind of had to, like, deep clean it because it was just, like, in the airplane like that. So, um, anyway, my bougiest lipstick is MAC Locked Kiss in Vicious. And it, oh, looks like this. Like, look at that. This is some, like... I don't know, it's, it kind of looks like Y2K-ish, but it is like this, and smells smells like a MAC lipstick, that like vanilla, and it's like this nice warm looking red color, and I love this, <laughs> like... I think I will do like a makeup inventory type video again soon where I just like swatch things and like move stuff to where I like which ones I want to like pan and which ones I'm like we can stop using you now like because I have a few like I feel like they're mostly lip products. Oh. I have a few, like, lip products that I'm like, you know, I have had this a really long time and I should probably stop using it on my face, but I don't. Like, one of the main culprits is this Nature Republic lipstick. Like, I'm pretty sure this lipstick is, like, a million years old right now, but it, again, I have a type. If it's not that, like beigey brown looking color it is this like this but this lipstick like always looks good and I don't even think there's that much left in it there's like only this much left in it but I you know I should probably stop using it I probably won't let's be honest but yeah I don't know what I'm doing it's already been 43 minutes that's crazy that's real crazy but I need to put all the stuff away <laughs> because my room is like in shambles and I, I I thought you know if I at least make this, this video I won't have to like save the stuff and I can like throw the trash parts of them away so yeah that's the end of my haul video I hope you enjoyed it I am gonna do another video about the makeup I don't know why I move my hands like that Italian like I need to like stop moving my hands um but I I will make another video about the makeup I think and then I want to make a video about fragrances like fragrances I have and then yeah I don't know maybe some stories about orientation or my new co-teacher because everybody was walking on eggshells but they obviously hate her so I'm like she might be somebody I know. That one that almost burned our office down with the laminator. It might be her. And I heard some crazy stories today when I asked another teacher about, like another foreign teacher about her because he worked with her. Oh my goodness. I hope it's not her. If it is, we are going to fight. But anyway, that's all for today. Today, like I'm coming back tomorrow. 
anyway, that's all. Um, it's real, real unhinged, but I think I'm like, I'm not even like sleep deprived because I slept all the way here. And then today I think I'm just angry from work because I had to physically move my computer like the computer tower and my monitor and like all that stuff in my office chair and like the school is not set up like one side of the school is okay for handicap because you know it has like an elevator and stuff like that but the other side of the school doesn't have an elevator so I had to like walk all the way through there and then since it's gonna rain tonight they they decided they had to get all the the extra desks that the school has outside to throw them away because there's less students anyway i'm i'm done i'm gonna stop that's my haul um yeah bye